Good cold morning. This is Ty with ANL RV in Jackson, Tennessee. I'm going to show you this Transcend. This is a 260 RB, so rear bath. We're around 32 feet length and we're under 6,200 pounds dry. With this being a grand design unit, a lot of extra is included in this particular type of build. So we'll get right into it. Woo! Cold morning. So be patient with me today, guys. This is a Grand Design Transcend 260 RB, again under 32 feet and 6,200 pounds. So pretty accessible for a lot of different tow vehicles. You're just going to have to match up that weight with this. It is a wood structure and aluminum skin, but that outside aluminum skin that you're seeing is proprietary to Grand Design. It's the only place or the only manufacturer you're going to see using it, and you can immediately tell how much smoother that sidewall is than most so you're not going to have some of the issues that people have in the past about things dinging say you were in a hell storm you're going to have less chance of that being an issue it's also quite a bit thicker than what you're normally going to see too and over double the thickness on that front cap than what you're normally going to see so we'll start moving around obviously that great curve that they've been able to achieve and if you look at the construction even with this being wood at that front seam we have multiple layers going on to reduce the issues of what aluminum sided travel trailers have had in the past so we have wraps gaskets all sorts of stuff underneath this that would have to fail in multiple ways before you're going to have water intrusion so they've really spent their time to work on this. Grand Design wanted an entry level product for people to get into their brand, but they have not cut anything as far as the quality that you would expect. This is still one of the brands that's winning a quality award every year, just like their others. 20 pound front propane tanks and electric tongue jack. This chassis is built to match for this unit. And almost immediately, one of the things you're not going to expect on travel trailer is this. So not only do you have your normal bypass storage that's also fully finished out, but you have your connections on the inside that would run underneath. And this unit is fully enclosed and heated underneath. So unlike many, it is going to be set up for an extended season camping. TPO roof membrane. We're at a tandem axle here. You're going to see the hydraulic connections. That coloring is on purpose as well. Most trucks are white, gray, and black, and they want to match up to that. Our connections for our wastewater is wide at the back. We are going to see manual jacks, but you do have black tank flush connections there. Full size spare and walkable roof with the ladder included and backup camera prepped. Again, TPO membrane at the top. So it's the same roof membrane that they're going to use on their other campers as well. And getting back to the campsite, pretty good size awning coming back the only reason it goes short is because we do have a furnace exhaust to contend with here at the Breer outdoor speakers decent height from the road not anything crazy we do have connections for an outdoor TV if you so wish to do so with our 110 and our cable quick recovery here now on our tires they haven't skimped again. You still have the same warranty you're going to see on your other Grand Design units. So a one-year fully replacement. It should be two-year roadside and five-year limited warranty. Our gravity fill for our water is on the campsite instead of the roadside. So bear that in mind. You're going to notice how dark the tinting is on this window. For those that like to stay cool in the summer, that's a big deal. This is an upgraded stair, even though it is flip-out. Some people kind of have a preference one way or the other. You can always add a flip down staple stair if you so wish. But in this case, with the flip downs like this, it's a little bit easier to get in and out while you're going down the road. Let's check out that front storage one more time. Hopefully you can tell how wide this door is. 
and we do have magnetic holdbacks instead of the manuals they just do a good job finishing out everything that they have fit and finish with grand design is a big deal and they also do a 300 plus point post production inspection they were the, one of the first ones to ever really do anything like that they have a dedicated facility for it too so even on a unit like this that is technically wood and aluminum you're getting a much better product and this just so you know is a flagpole holder not a TV mount okay how about we move inside okay one more time grand design transcend 260 RB now stepping up front I love how these are laid out for the width of this type of unit you feel like you have a lot of space and they just do a good job matching up their interior to me some people are going to say it's on the darker side but it's such a contrast to all the white and grays that you're normally going to see that it makes a really big difference in how it visually hits we have solid wood finished cabinet faces Definitely an upgrade over a lot. Pull down here at our sink. Sink is oversized. Finished laminated edge. We do have a 12 volt fridge. Everybody at this point should know exactly what that means. Easier to contend with. Three burner stove. Good amount of counter when you take into account how that sink is set up. So we have left and right here and to the right of the stove. We do have a dedicated pantry with a glass front insert. You can see the depth there too. Now, it's a darker day. We have tinted windows. So I want this video to really show that it's going to be a lot brighter when you have your interior lights or a sunny day on. Our TVs can pre-installed just about anything. Well, actually anything Grand Design. And it's not just a regular TV. You're going to have a Roku smart TV. We do have a 15,000 BTU vented AC, returns right in the middle. In this case, dinette booth with opposite theater seats. They do a live edge on their tabletops, which is very nice. Just breaks up the monotony of a square edge. And then our backrest here you can actually flip and change out your fabric style storage underneath look how big that window is looking right out too and that's campsite that's the side that really matters we're gonna have able viewing and then additional storage above our theater seats a little bit of storage in the center with cup holders and then our rear bath because it's a rear bath you have the full width of this unit to take advantage of and they really have to me so we have storage linen each side of that sink storage underneath our medicine cabinet is a triple the nice thing about this if you are someone that really needs to do your hair you can kick these doors and be able to see around you behind you We have a ceramic foot flush commode with a soft close so it doesn't bang and a shower in the corner good size shower decent height we do have the additional skylight above and you are going to have even more linen storage now all of this would be open space for the linen i'm talking about they do not right now have a option for doors just because i think they're trying to maximize the usable space in here but a lot of walk around room and knee room plus a rear window two vent fans one here one in the center of the living area and then they always seem to do a secondary skylight just brings in more natural light right in the middle of the camper and our front bedroom is separated so it's going to be pocket door and it is going to be a queen but you do have wardrobe space left and right cubby space above they do finish off a headrest 
just that alone kind of shows you that they're putting a little bit more detail in. And when we get inside, additional third fan here. If it's on a cooler day, you're going to have three available fans to move air through this unit. That's pretty amazing. We do have electrical outlets left and right. So for this size unit, pretty good amount of storage in all ways. Now our controls are manual, keep that in mind, but you only have a single slide and single awning to contend with. So it's not as bad. So let us go and we'll do a review of all we've seen. So that is our Transcend 260RB. In this case, it's a little bit tight, so I can't show you the profile like I wish I could. But the front cap on all these Transcends does have a very nice angle to it. And they do that front metal, what I was talking about, a lot more dense than what you're normally going to see. Their insulation is fiberglass. They do a normal trust roof, but their gasket ceiling and the way that they're finishing off all of their edges is what's going to make the difference between what you would normally see in a metal wall and this. Plus, so many extra things that you aren't going to see in any other metal until you get into something a little bit larger. We've got our enclosed and heated underbelly. We've got our 12 volt fridge. We've got all sorts of extra things like this that are all adding up to be a really nice camper for a really nice price point. People always ask me on these videos about price. I don't list the price because the options can change and depending on your delivery of where you physically are located and what time of the year it is, it can all change that price. But we fall in line to what any of the other metal walls are gonna be, but with a lot of, a lot of extras. I mean, just the wooden front cabinets makes a huge difference. So definitely check out a Transcend if you have a chance to do so. You're only gonna find this on particular lots because Transcends is part of the Grand Design family. And Grand Design is picky about who they deal with. Definitely ask your sales consultant about the service stuff too. With anything Grand Design, they're gonna definitely be killing it on the service side. There's only a few other companies I'd put in line to it, if any. So let me know what you think. Give me a like, give me a comment, give me a subscribe. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching, okay? So we will see you next time.